WPTV. Welcome back. In an interview with Empire Magazine, we heard from director Martin Scorsese on what he thinks about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it's not looking pretty. This is what he had to say. That's not cinema. Honestly, the closest I can think of them, as well made as they are, and the actors doing the best they can under the circumstances, it's a theme park. It isn't the cinema of human beings trying to convey emotional and psychological experiences to another human being. Oh boy, that definitely stirred things up in the industry. <laughs> Anyways, today I'm joined by Matt Camera and Ben Lewis to get their thoughts on Scorsese's comments. First, do you think the Marvel Cinematic Universe should be considered cinema, or do you agree with Martin Scorsese? I mean, it's, it's not <laughs> not cinema. Obviously, mm -hmm. it's cinema. I mean, Black Panther won three Academy Awards. Um, I mean, yeah, we're allowed to have fun movies without them being Scorsese art pieces. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, th I think it's just, I don't, I, don't, I don't know why, I mean, I get where he's coming from. Yeah. But I don't see why he would think low, like it's almost as if he's belittling it. Personally, just, I'm only gonna say this. I kind of agree with him on the fact that if you are not part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, very into it, uh, watching one movie, you can completely not even consider it a movie. Like Infinity Wars kind of felt like that was chap two chapters of a giant story. I just think so. it's, it's, all about, it's all about the work that's done into it, where mm -hmm. it all has the same elements as anything else that he would have done, it's just, Maybe about superheroes, stuff. so okay. I don't see what changes about it. Well, what do you think of uh, him comparing the MCU to a theme park? Uh, well, theme parks are fun, and so are the MCU <laughs> movies. You know, I just made this point a second ago. <laughs> it's a wild <laughs> ride. I mean, it's ride. meant to be fun. It's meant to be a fun time. Mm -hmm. It's a comic book adaptation. Obviously, it's not going to be a gritty, real-life emotional story. I mean, there are emotional bits to it. Yeah. But, I mean, come on. It's Spider-Man swinging around in a red leotard. Like, mm -hmm. it's not supposed to be a serious, like, art piece, like I said. But it is a whole cinematic universe. Yes. They use the word cinema. It's in the name. <laughs> it's in the name. It's bringing to life yeah. a child, childhood heroes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that's a big aspect of it. And like, mm -hmm. uh, for demographic too. I mean, obviously it has a wide demographic. I mean, every, uh, many people watch them. But I mean, mm -hmm. also where it started at, it's for comics, children. Like, I mean, it's bringing their, their imaginations and their comic books and, mm -hmm. and everything that they've seen in superheroes and want to be and like bringing it to the big screen and showing that like, oh, like <laughs> this is what it would look like. <laughs> yeah, that is honestly very cool. And the fact that they made 22 plus movies that have still remained popular and still made billions. You don't think it's a cash grab? Oh, it looks like a profit margin. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, come on. I mean, the profits are, ins you can't deny the profits are insane, but mm -hmm. you also can't deny that this is an insanely huge achievement in terms of cinema. Like of, uh, yeah. how you said earlier that yeah. Black Panther got uh, three Academy Awards. Yeah. Um, do you think that that's a trend that will increase in the Marvel Cinematic Universe um, with movies like this? Yeah. I mean, uh, it is tough to kind of give out... Um, Academy Awards to these movies that are mainly special effects and CG and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, when you get to the more like superhero movies, the more gritty, more real superhero movies, like say Joker, um, if the kind yeah. of the industry, not industry, kind of the theme of superhero movies starts to go in that direction, I feel like more Academy Awards will start to be shelled well, out to those movies. Well, that is DC movies. though, and they're known for going yeah. a bit dark. Do you think Marvel will go with those more stylized version, take the hint of Joker as it uh, as that movie has gotten? great praise? Mm. No. No? You don't think they're going to do it? <laughs> no. You think DC. it's going to go Thor Ragnarok all the way? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> DC does a lot of reimagining mm -hmm. with, their, with their stuff, and Marvel, although, I mean, to a certain extent, they have to do some sort of changing with it to make it brought to a cinema aspect, but they don't take it to the same level as DC does, and I'm not saying DC has been very successful because they really haven't. This is their first success. It, in it's a really long is. Time. <laughs> but like they do a good job of kind of taking things that are fictional and putting it into a sort of real setting and being that like, this is 
this is like a reality. But Marvel has made mm -hmm. a whole new universe with new rules. The, it's mm -hmm. DC focus on, focuses on like sort of sometimes like reality aspects of it, and Marvel is like, this is this is our world. Like, we make it. I think you literally just changed my view on the difference of Marvel and DC, because I don't think I ever thought about it before, uh -huh. and now that makes perfect sense. Thank yeah. you, Ben. <laughs> oh, I try. So, uh, does this whole ordeal change your view on the MCU, at least make you think about it in a different way, better or worse? No, I mean, I've always, I've always... <laughs> no. No, that's my answer. <laughs> um, no. no, I mean, I've always kind of realized that these movies aren't to be taken super seriously. I mean, they are what they are. They're mm -hmm. comic book superhero movies. Nothing's changed. You can't Nothing will change. I mean, just because yeah. Scorsese says something about it, and I mean, granted, love his movies, great, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. whatever. But nothing's going to change about people wanting to see Marvel movies. Not Like, mm. honestly, his, his thoughts on it really have little to do, actually, with what their sales are going to be well, and, there, and viewing. There is, uh, at one point, Martin Scorsese claims that he tried to get on board with the MCU, um, but couldn't. Uh, okay. Do you think that, first off, influences his opinion uh, about this theme park thing? And also, um, do you think that he crossed the line, kind of, from like a simple comment to like outright uh, it's too much, too harsh. There we go. <laughs> well, you know, I tried to get into eating hummus, and I don't like hummus. <laughs> you know, he tried to get into watching superhero movies. He doesn't like superhero movies. Uh -huh. It's not for everybody, you know? In and the I end, mean, it's an opinion. <laughs> it's an opinion. I mean, granted, it's an opinion by someone who's so well-known in that yeah. aspect. I mean, it's still an opinion. I mean, everyone's got their own thoughts on it, and I can guarantee you a lot of people are going to disagree with what he's got to say. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, a fun question is, how do you think this like compares, at least cinematically, with his movies, like The Godfather, okay. Goodfellas, <laughs> Taxi Driver? Um, co <laughs> completely different. Yeah. <laughs> is that an answer? But uh, <laughs> with the emotional and psychological aspects. Mm -hmm. Um, Marvel. I mean, you no, know, this kind of. They they kind of mess with you a little bit, but not not mm -hmm. to that extent. I mean, mm -hmm. I was I was just rewatching Taxi Driver like the other day, and I love so basically, that movie. Yeah, I love that movie. But, but it's, it's just completely different with the Marvel cinematic. It's stylistically sense. different. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, it's hard to really even compare them because yeah. there's yeah. just such drastically different things. That is and it's very true. Also, I mean, a very different that. era too. Yeah, yeah. and this is more the modern things. But uh, unfortunately. Okay. That's all the time we have to talk about Scorsese and the MCU, but make sure to stay tuned next to get our thoughts on the new Doolittle trailer.